Hey everyone, my name is Maribel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am speaking about home births and why I'm choosing to do a home birth again. I chose to do a home birth for my first pregnancy for many, many reasons. So it's not just a one definite reason. I spent a lot of time reading books, watching documentaries, reading articles, reading blogs, joining different mom groups to finally decide exactly what I wanted to do. I grew up watching the show, I believe it was called A Birth Story. It used to come out on TV. I remember watching it like right before going on the bus to school or like after I came back from school. I don't know why I would watch this show. All I remember was it was like a bunch of stories of different women and their path to giving birth and the different ways they chose it. So one of the ones that stuck out to me and I'm pretty sure it had to happen on this show was like home births for whatever reason have always really caught my attention. And I know throughout the years people have talked about it or it's come out on reality shows. So it's always kind of been in my mind since I was younger that uh, birthing at home was an option. Main thing that caught my attention wasn't just home birthing, it was the water birth experience that I really wanted to experience myself. I initially, for my first pregnancy, I did go to a doctor. I was going into an office. It was a really long wait time, and then my appointments were really quick, 10, 15 minutes, it's over. There were a couple things the doctor would say. I mean, nothing, I know some people have like terrible experiences, so it was nothing terrible. It was just a couple comments that I could see that our ideals didn't really align and Another thing was that she really wouldn't be able to deliver my baby, that I would be whatever doctor would be on call, which was like eight different doctors could be on call on one day. Not that it's the biggest issue, but I kind of did want someone that can care for me the entire way and be there at my birth as well. I started watching different shows and documentaries. One of the documentaries that really stuck out to me was The Business of Being Born, which I believe Ricky Lake worked on. I found it for free on YouTube two years ago, but I was actually wanting to watch it again for free <laughs> and it was not on YouTube anymore, but it is on Prime um, to rent and there's plenty of other documentaries to watch. Doctors intervene way too much in the birthing process and doctors are trained for worst possible scenario. As far as the reading that I have done, most doctors are trained of when things go wrong, which is why you need a doctor. I don't want to be treated like something is gonna go wrong. I don't wanna even have people in the room with that mindset or nurses or doctors who have that mindset, mindset of something's gonna go wrong. Not that these people have bad intentions. This is what they're trained for. This is what they study. But from what I have read, doctors don't really study normal natural births or it's something that is quickly touched upon. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I don't go to medical school, so I don't know exactly what they learn. But they always prepare for the worst possible thing. C-sections are pushed a lot here in the US. In other countries, the percentage of C-sections are a lot lower. And we have, I think, um, I think, I'm not positive US has one of the highest percentages of c-sections which was another thing I did not want to happen I did not want to go somewhere and be perfectly healthy and a doctor saying that I needed a c-section I wanted to choose exactly what I wanted to do midwives are very open you can eat you can drink you can walk while in labor I have heard certain hospitals will not let you do that um, you have to wear the hospital gown I don't want to be treated like a patient or like I'm going into surgery because I'm not. I am there to give birth. I wanted to do it as naturally as possible. I was not interested in taking any drugs after reading about the drugs. Pitocin, epidural, they slow down the birthing process. Epidurals do not work for every woman, so some women still report feeling pain during and then they regret taking the drug. Others slow down their labor, which caused a C-section. These drugs, they don't tell you, but they also affect the baby and go into the baby, which I feel like that's probably why a lot of heartbeats slow down for the babies. And then they rush you off into a C-section. I don't think it's the baby itself. For me, my personal belief is that these drugs slow down the baby's heart rate. Also, it is said that women who take drugs 
And this is to be no offense to anyone. If that's what you want to do, that's perfectly fine. I'm a, I'm a very open person. I'm not here to tell you what your decision was wrong or that your doctor was wrong or to listen to me. I'm just simply stating what I believe in, what I wanted for me and my baby. No one has the right answer. No one is more correct than the other. And I feel like a lot of these subjects can get very heated because people think that because you're speaking about certain things that you're making them feel less than a woman or less than a mother and that is not what I want. So I wanna say that now before anyone possibly gets offended with what I am saying. More power to you, whatever it was that you decided. There have also been women who their back hurts after the epidural, they have issues, back issues. I figured I didn't want any of those things to intervene. Also, I had written down a birth plan of everything I wanted to do or didn't want to do because in case of an emergency, yes, I would go to the doctor and I would go to the hospital and deliver there. I had a birth plan of things that I did want and that I didn't want. There are, <laughs> I have a lot of different opinions about different things. So like an episotomy, I did not want. I did not want an IV. And from personal women that I have talked to who also didn't want these things, I was told they had to argue with the hospital while they're in labor saying, no, I don't want this. So I wanted to avoid all of that. I prefer to just avoid the confrontation and just find someone that agrees with my ideals. So I ended up with a midwife who was very open to everything that I wanted. She believed in a lot of the things that I did. I feel like I have a big list of just, there were just so many things that I didn't agree with, like vacuums, forceps, unless they're truly, truly needed, then that is what needs to be done. But I feel like a lot of doctors do it right away. They wanna get it over with. They're scheduling you on their time. Let's say if it's during the holidays, they wanna get to their family or it's a Friday. They don't wanna be stuck there all night. Just like how you don't wanna be stuck at your job all night, neither do doctors. So I feel that at a certain point, it just becomes routine. Okay, let's just get schedule a C-section for, oh, you've been in labor for 24 hours. This is a really long time. Let's just, let's get the C-section going. They don't want those type of scenarios to arise. But with the reading that I did, the documentaries that I watched, that is what I came into a conclusion with, that i rather just be at home, make my own decisions, and if an emergency did happen, then yes, of course I would go to the doctor. I am not opposed to that. The cost of having a midwife is a lot cheaper than giving birth at a hospital. You have your set price with the midwife. Hospitals can be a couple thousand, at least for me, it was being with the midwife was about three to four thousand cheaper than birthing at the hospital. Another thing that I loved about a home birth was I gave birth and I had nowhere to go. It's just I am at home, I'm already in my bed, I don't need to jump in the car, I don't need to move, I don't need to go anywhere. My family was there, they helped me, which I think is a huge deal that if you have friends or family to help you, they were there. They had food cooked for me, so it was overall a good experience. The baby was able to be with me the entire time. He never left my sight. He wasn't taken anywhere. He was just next to me. We did skin to skin contact. As soon as daddy catched him, he was onto my chest. We breastfed. Overall, I feel like it's a very intimate thing to do at home instead of in a place that is foreign to me and lots of different patients go in there so it was nice to just be at home have him there not having to go anywhere else and he didn't leave my sight at all which was something that was very important to me I forgot to show you guys my belly so I am 28 weeks now so here it is this big boy almost there almost at the finish line see you guys